Yo, what is up boys? How's it going? And welcome back to another stream slash video. Today we're talking about the One Piece live action official teaser trailer, Netflix. We're going to react to it. Um, but first I want to say I am optimistic. I'm one of the few streamers and YouTubers that has been optimistic. I just think if Oda's involved and they have a large enough budget and they actually just do a, uh, a TV series that covers a small amount of One Piece, I think they can maybe pull it off. Just because in, in the past, so many live actions try to take a long TV series or a long anime and turn it into a movie, and you just know there's no way for them to be actually be faithful. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've been optimistic. Let's just jump into it. Let me know what you guys think down below, though. Hey, the going, Barry. Ever since I was a kid. The sea's been calling. All right, I don't. I love the way he looks. I feel like he looks like Luffy and acts like Luffy from all the clips that I've seen. Um, so maybe it's, it's probably a good, a good job. I just got to get used to his voice. Not in love with his voice, but then again, I've watched a thousand episodes of him in Japanese and English dubbed and all that. Um, so it's just gonna take some getting used to. Not in love with his voice, voice though. First impression. So, I'm setting out to follow my dreams. The Baratier! Dude, the Baratier is such a good arc. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be king of the pirates! Is this Water 7? No. This is a marine base. I'm fucking blind. Um, and wa Water 7 is not even being adapted. It is a loyal crew. Zoro! And I think so this is like the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Axe Hand Morgan or something? This is like the first marine base where they save, they save Zoro in the beginning of the series. I almost forgot about that. Thank you. Together, we'd make a pretty good team. Yeah, I do feel like they did a good job casting. I'm excited. We're heading up to the Grand Line. A treacherous stretch of ocean. All right. Oh my God, so many things to say. One, Zoro looks badass. Fight scene looks cool. Two, Nami's kind of hot, although very emotionless in that scene. Although I need, I would need the context of everything she says before and after to like judge it, but like pretty, do you guys know what I'm saying? Look at this. A treacherous stretch of ocean. This doesn't look that bad for like CGI, whatever type of thing they did. I don't think this looks bad. With bigger islands. Oh, is that Shanks? That's Shanks. Um, Shanks hair's look, hair looks pretty cool. And bigger pirates. <laughs> oh my goodness. Buggy looks fucking creepy as hell, dude. I don't work for you. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, Not a, crew. a crew. Oh my god, I'm already in love. I, I feel like that's the thing. I'm sure it's not going to be great. It's a live action after all. But as long as we love the characters, which we've, we've loved for 20 plus years, as long as they can nail the characters and the vibe, I feel like it's like I can look past so much, you know? I feel like we fell in love with One Piece because we fell in love with the characters and their backstories and, um, and the world building and stuff like that. Like if, oh, if, I feel like if, if they mess up little things here and there, it's not going to be the end of the world for me. Usopp! We haven't sailed together for very long. Sanji! But, and I know we've got each other's backs. All right, that's fucking hype. That is so exciting. All right, that kind of made me cringe a little bit. Um, it didn't look that bad, the stretch. Just like, I guess, hearing gum gum. Come on, gomu gomu no. <laughs> I'm such a fucking weeb. Um, but yeah, I don't know. How are they going to do like a Gatling gun where it's like tons of them happening? Because it, it doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look terrible, at least. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying to be optimistic. Trying to be optimistic. Although this scene made me cringe a little bit. Ooh, is that Alvita? That's definitely Alvita. Hopefully they actually call her fat and ugly. Let's not get too PC with it, boys. They're definitely not going to. <laughs> All great fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I feel like the character dynamics are, are there. They're there. August 31st. Oh my god, what day is it today? The 18th? So a, a little bit more than a month away. Oh my god. I'm so excited, dude, when this drops. We're definitely watching this on Kick Watch Party. 
link below, drop a follow. I might be live later today there as well. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I doubt, it, I doubt it'll, be, it'll be amazing, but as long as they nail the characters, um, I think we'll all fall in love. How, if, if it is a banger though, how unreal would it be to say that like my favorite manga slash anime is One Piece and my favorite live action real person adaptation is One Piece. <laughs> real person TV show is One Piece. The, the cast will probably get more attention for how well they embody the crew, but the show's crew, is, uh, specifically the production designers, deserve a huge pat on the back for how good this looks. Now let's see what people are saying. Huh? I never thought I'd see the day that I was impressed by a live-action anime adaptation, but here we are. To be fair, we can't judge it before we see it, just because at the end of the day, look at Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop had the vibe. The characters were pretty good. The acting was pretty good. It just, like, the plot and Vicious just made everything fall apart. Like, they just didn't stay true to the story. So as long as they stay true to the story to a certain extent, you know... It's like, what are they covering? They're covering the Barack Day, Arlong Park, and like the introductions of the characters and their backstories. As long as they just do that and do that somewhat faithful, I feel like with the casting that they've done, it might look a little janky with CGI and stuff, but with the casting that they've done, I feel like they can't fuck it up. I'm way too optimistic. They could definitely fuck it up. Oh, I'm so excited, boys. Shinpaku, I will see you guys all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Is there anything else? Is there anything after the credits? I don't think so. The sets looked beautiful. Going Mary, the Baratier, the Marine base. Buggy looks creepy as fuck, but also kind of stayed true to his character look, which I thought they were going to... See, that's a good sign. This is already a good sign because I thought certain, there's a certain wackiness and craziness that One Piece has going for it that I was just worried that they were going to be like, yeah, just, let's just throw some face paint on Buggy and make him like, like a fucking Joker type look. You know, let's not make him too ridiculous with the nose, but it's part of his character. Like, it matters. These little things matter, and I'm happy they got it right. <laughs> the fact that Oda was upset by the shoe thing and was like, hey, why the hell is Luffy wearing shoes? It's a Netflix protocol. It's for injuries and so that they could do stunts and make it crazy over the top. It's just like, protocol, I completely understand it. I'm over it. Um, but the fact that even Oda was like, hey, why the hell are you guys wearing shoes? Why is Luffy wearing shoes? Means I feel like he's going to be very nitpicky that things stay faithful. And they, he even, they even said they're not posting this until it's ready, until Oda approves of everything. Careful with that. I don't work for you. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, Not a, a crew. crew. We haven't sailed together for very long, but I know we've got I love I'm just step. sitting here watching it again. Uh, apparently Sanji did some training so he could get the kicks down. Uh, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm just so I'm just so excited about watching the boys go on the adventure again. I tell you, I feel like we're we could, we're biased enough as One Piece fans. Let's admit that we're biased. We suck One Piece off way too much. Um, we're biased enough that we can look past the faults. And I'm just excited to watch the boys go go on the adventure once again. I love you guys, Shimpaku, and I'll see you all in the next one. Um, I I'm gonna watch this again by myself, boy.